everyone. I'm here with my Skype sisters and I'm getting ready to do a project share. This is going to be part two of my handmade wrapping paper. And here is Lily Lineka, Miss Alice, who is the GMA, and Virginia, who is Virginia 1468. And here is my project share. This is my handmade wrapping paper as you saw yesterday and this here is what I did with it so <clears throat> I believe my wrapping paper is 12 inches <laughs> in height and what I did was from one end of the wrapping paper to the other I put two layers of lace so the first one being cream and the second layer being a light pink ruffled lace and this one is a the cream is a flat lace but I made it um, ruffled I left it exposed at the top like I said I would and then basically what I did was I folded it like a burrito and y'all should know how to do a burrito okay um so what I did was I did not do any gluing and the reason is this is a gift for my coworker. <clears throat> She's getting ready to get married and I didn't want anything glued because I wanted her to be able to repurpose this in her lingerie drawer or if she wanted she can rewrap this. So I folded it in a burrito, left it exposed at the top and then I just got some of this lace that is up here. I got it long enough to where I can make two bows out of it. And this is not glued down, it's not taped. And then this is my handmade lollipop flower. You can see the netting that I have in between it. I stuck a brad in my lollipop and then I put the brad through the two bows to hold it all together so she can slide it off and um, repurpose it so there's no gluing because I want her to be re be able to recycle now one of my Skype sisters asked if I could show how this was done so <clears throat> basically right here is what my napkin looked like before I decoupaged so this would be the front that you'd look at now I had to cut this in half because as you can see the second half of the napkin is upside down so I had to cut across here and this is a two ply napkin which all napkins are and I had to remove the back and the reason being is the two ply if you um so that's what it looks like I just cut it in half like so and then here I pulled it apart so here's my two pieces there's the white background and then there's my printed side and what I did was I used this Mod Podge and I adhered the Mod Podge here's my wax paper I just Mod Podged one side I put my uh, the one side on that I heat set it with my um, heat gun then all I did was I flipped it over and Mod Podged it again added this onto it um, and then heat set it again and I get that so this comes out pretty um, sturdy so you don't have to worry about tearing or anything. We've also found out through um, playing, um, I was playing with um, Tabasco 14 last night after I got off work on Skype, and we found that um, she's gonna come up in a little while and Skype with me and we're gonna, um, she's gonna do a, a project share just showing. Um, and then she found some other papers that she can use. You can also, we're gonna, um, play with parchment paper and also freezer paper. Um, I'm having a challenge and I'm going to be throwing in a decent amount of vintage lace for this challenge. I want people to make their own wrapping paper 
if you don't have printed napkins from like Tuesday morning or wherever you get your printed napkins from, you are welcome to use printed um, tissue paper. And if you don't own wax paper, you can put it on um, like Xerox paper. Um, and then I want you to decorate it better. I want you to explain your technique on your video response, how you made it and then have it um, decorated. And as I said, I will be throwing in some beautiful vintage lace. Um, I'm going to have this end. What is today? It's the 17th. So at the end of March, this will be due. Because I kid you not, this took me maybe an hour and a half at the most and I mean it's so fast with the heat setting now Johnny let hers air dry and hers dried pretty quickly so I mean you may not have to heat set especially if you don't own a heat gun um so that's it um for my project share and um stay tuned for more because I might do some more video responses because I want to do some more playing I'm going to try doing this again but just with the one ply and just see what the texture is as opposed to the texture here with both layers of my napkin so stay tuned for more funness talk to you all later and please i hope that you join in on my challenge i will talk to you all later say bye ladies bye everyone <laughs>